Hi folks, this is Jay. I hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. And I just want to share this thought, <clears throat> a couple of thoughts really. One is that some people will say, Oh, look at Jay, he's not being humble. He's saying biblical criticism. Don't mess with the master. Listen, there's only one master, and his name is Jesus. Alright? His name is Jesus, atheist. His name is Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ. Now, I want to share a little thought, and another little thought, atheist. And that is this, you've got to admit, you're deluded. You say, no, I'm not, Jay. Yeah, you are. You're deluded. No, I'm not, Jay. No, no, no. I've got the facts. Evolution's true. I've got the facts, Jay. Your beliefs, there's no evidence for Christianity. Atheist, you're deluded. All right. You are deluded. Uh, and just admit it. You say, Jay, look, look. We, 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 we've got the facts. You have got no facts. you got no evidence. Jay... You're the one that's deluded, I'm not deluded. No, no, atheist. Well, listen, let me just tell you. You're deluded. Alright, let me show you why you're deluded. History starts by chance. The whole universe appears. From nowhere. By chance. How did it come by chance, atheist? The universe appears. Whether it be by inflation or whatever you want to talk about, whether you change the Big Bang or keep the Big Bang, it came by chance, atheist. That is illogical. That does not make sense, atheist. That does not make sense. That is delusional. Delusional, atheist. Delusional, okay? Delusional! And then the delusion of history as an atheist. You don't know where you're going as an atheist in history. You haven't got a clue where history is going. And then the delusion of the end of history. You die, and that's the end of it came by chance, don't know where we're going, then we die. Came by chance, don't know where we're going, then we die. Came by chance, don't know where we're going, then we die. That's it. It's pretty, pretty bleak and pretty, pretty bad atheist. And you're holding on to it and dancing up and down, thinking you're clever and thinking this is it, this is life, this is life, folks. We came by chance, we don't know where we're going, and we just die. Atheist. There ain't nothing in atheism, folks. It's so easy to critique atheism. It's unbelievably easy. You said, Jay, Jay, you don't understand it. You don't understand atheism, Jay. Oh, oh, will you tell him? Will you tell him? He don't understand it. Tell him he doesn't understand atheism at all. Jason, don't you understand that atheism is an absence of belief? It's an absence of belief, Jason. And on the basis that there's no evidence. So there. I won the argument a long, long time ago, atheist. Atheism is not just an absence of belief. Atheism is a world view. Atheism has presuppositions. Atheism has many, many ideas connected to it, atheist. Let me just show you one more. Are you ready for it? If atheism is just an absence of belief, why is it? The atheist hate Christ. Why is it the atheist hate the Bible? Why is it the atheist hates the church? If atheism is just an absence of belief, why all the hate for Christ? Why all the hate for the Bible? Why all the hate for the church? Why? So it's more than just an absence of belief. It's more than just an absence of evidence, atheist. The fact of the matter is, you don't want to be told what to do, and you think that we're going to tell you what to do, but also deep down, at the end of the day, 
you don't want to answer to God in Christ. So it's more than an absence of belief. It's an antichrist. That's what atheism is. I'll prove to you. We come on the the ex experiential <clears throat> uh, ringing. Yes, uh, yes, you're an Aborigine in Australia. Yes, uh, you're in the middle of the outback. Are you? Yes, and you believe that your your gods are living in the kangaroos. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna show you that these are gods in the kangaroos don't exist. Do you ever get Aborigines falling in on the Alien Experience show, arguing about their gods? No. Who do you get falling in? Christians. What's the show about? Bunking Christianity. Alright? What about Thunderfoot? Does he attack the, uh, the, the sort of Hindu gods? Who does he attack? He attacks Christianity. Pat Kandel, does he attack the Hindu gods? No, he principally attacks Christianity, a bit of Islam, but mainly Christianity. Gogu in 18, who does she attack? Does she attack the gods in Africa? No, she attacks Christianity. Do, do the uh, Christian, uh, do, um, does Aaron Ra attack the Mormons? Does Aaron Ra attack the Jehovah's Witnesses? No, he attacks true Christianity. Orthodox, evangelical, Bible believing Christianity. That's what he attacks. See? It's not just an absence of belief, is it? You're all attacking Christianity. When you become a Christian, you gain your identity by following Christ. You follow Christ, you follow him as a disciple. When you become an atheist, you follow hatred against Christianity. You follow Christ as a Christian, you follow his way as an atheist, you follow the crowd that goes around bashing Christianity. I mean let's get let, let's let's just get the gloves off, atheist. Right? Let's get the gloves off. Let's get the gloves off and let's let's just have it out for a minute, right? You want me to become an atheist on a philosophy, a materialistic philosophy that has no hope and is nihilistic? No chance. The evidence for Christ and, and that he lived, that he died and he rose again is phenomenal. The evidence is phenomenal, atheist. It's phenomenal. It's phenomenal. There's never been anything like it. You name me any leader in history that has had four Gospels written after them. Like Gospel Matthew, Mark, Luke and John. And have had the influence on history like the four Gospels have. You name me one. You can't name me one. Jesus is unique, folks. You name me someone like the Apostle Paul. Who has influenced history like the Apostle Paul. Who wrote those letters like the Apostle Paul. You name me someone like that. You can't name me anybody who's influenced history like the Apostle Paul because he was influenced in his life through Christ in other words atheist I would rather follow Paul I would rather follow the four gospels than I would follow your death wish materialistic philosophy and at the end of the day Atheist. If there were any atheists around the world today, if Aaron Ra came knocking at my door, or Thunderfoot, or Go Green 18, or any of the atheists, or any of you came knocking at my door, what would you get? I'll tell you what I get. You get you get me washing your feet. That's what you get. You get, you say, I'd say, come in Aaron Ra, sit down mate. You want a kip? Go and have a kip upstairs, I'll make you tea mate. That's what you get. That's what Christianity teaches you. If atheism is just an absence of belief, then in God, because there's no evidence, according to you, then what else has it got to offer? It's got nothing else to offer society. Religion isn't the biggest problem in the universe. It's not the biggest problem at all. The biggest problem is this, the heart. The heart of man is deceitfully corrupt. That's what the problem is. That's the problem, folks. We can put machines on, on Mars. We can make 
all these great technological advances, but there's one thing that we can't change, and that's the heart. It's the heart of man, the heart of humanity that needs to be put right. And Christ Jesus said that he came to make us born again. You must be born again, born from above, born by the Holy Spirit into our hearts. It's only till we have our hearts changed, until we meet the risen Christ, and we are changed in our hearts that things will get better. But the Bible warns us that things will not get better, that things will get worse, because everything is in a state of decay. And the only way that the rot will stop is when Christ turns the clock of stops the clock of history and comes back. Atheist, you're precious, you're important, you're valuable, and you've been good to me in, a many, in many ways, even though you've attacked me, you've been very good to me in many, many ways, because you've put up with me, because you've had an awful assault for two years, you've had a lot of flack from me. And in many ways, you've been very, very patient with me, even though I've, I've been attacked quite a lot. In many ways, you've been quite tolerant to me, even though you've been very hard with me. So it kind of, it's like paradoxical, really. And if I had only one video left to make, and this was the video, these are the words that I'd said to you as atheist and Christian. I said to the Christians, you mustn't give up. You mustn't get discouraged. You must look to Christ and you must trust in Him and follow Him. Keep your eyes on Him. Don't keep your eyes on the church. Don't keep your eyes on the failings of other people. Keep your eyes focused on Him, on Christ and on what He wants you to do with your life. And for the atheist, that's the same question, thing I'd say to you. If it was my last video I could ever make, I would say look to Christ and trust in him. All these famous atheists will let you down. They'll make mistakes and they, and they, and you'll become di di disillusioned with atheism because they will let you down. The science might be wonderful but it can't meet your deepest existential spiritual needs. Only Christ can. And at the end of the day, when you come to your deathbed, science ain't going to resurrect you. The only way you can beat death and go to the other side and know you're going to be alright is in Christ. And that's not about giving you fear, that's just giving you a basic fact. You've got a fact that you're going to die, and the fact is that science ain't going to help you when you die. End of. When you die, if you believe in Christ, you'll be with him. The thief on the cross believed and the Lord said today you'll be with me in paradise and if you believe in Christ you'll be with him in paradise so believe atheist and trust in him you can't win against me alright you can't win you can't grind me down you're never going to get me to come over your side. It's never ever going to happen in a million years. The only thing that's going to happen is you come over to my side. And trust in Christ. Alright? That's the only thing that's going to happen. It ain't going to be me come over to you. So come. And trust in the Lord. And find peace and joy in Him. You know you're deluded, atheist. You know you're deluded. So turn and find reality in Christ. God bless.